Hello, in this video today, you will learn how to use the third web Solana SDK to deploy an NFT drop on the Solana blockchain. And we'll be uploading the images to the Bundler network, which accelerates data storage on our weave and use these images to lazy mint some NFTs into the NFT drop. Now, before we dive into the video, if you do get any value out of our content, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to hear all about our awesome content on Web3 and blockchain development. So to get started, we want to create a folder in our terminal and navigate into it. Let's call it Third Web Bundler. And once we're in the folder, let's use Node.js to run and write the script that will deploy our NFT drop. So to initialize in an empty node project, let's do npm init-y. And then we'll see an example JSON file that is created for our project, and then we'll need to install some packages. So to install them, we can use either npm or yarn. And the command line will be third, npmi at thirdweb dash um, dev sdk dot env at bundler network slash client. And for yarn, it will just be yarn add, um, replacing the npmi with yarn add. And once the installation is done, let's head over to retrieve our wallet private key. To deploy our contract from our wallet, we'll need the private key. And the most popular Solana wallet is the Phantom wallet. And if we already have the wallet, let's click on the badge in the extension of our browser and click on security settings and click on export private key and enter our passwords to um, see what the private key is. And please do note here that using private keys in our ENV file, which we'll be doing next, is not recommended as the best practice because it can still put the private keys in a vulnerable position to attacks. So what we recommend doing is definitely using a password or a secrets manager to manage and protect your private keys from attacks and hacking activities. So in our root directory, we want to create a git ignore file, which will store our env file that contains our private key. And once we have the env file stored in git ignore, it means that it will not be uploaded or committed to the GitHub repository. And once you're done, save this file and create a dot env file. And in this file, we will be storing our private key. And you want to be replacing what's in the bracket here with the private key that you just copied over from the wallet. Now that we have everything set up, let's start writing our script. Let's create a new file called mint.ts, which is a TypeScript file. And inside this file, let's import the Solana SDK into the top of our file. And we also want to import the .env file. And then we'll want to create a, an async function stored in a variable called mint. And in this function, we want to declare our private key as a string. And then next, we want to instantiate the SDK and pass in this private key. So next up, we'll be deploying the NFT drop. And we'll use the SDK that we initialized and include some metadata. By creating an object and storing it into a variable called program metadata. And feel free to met update the metadata of the NFT drop here with your own project, but I've just included some example here for your reference. And next, we'll be deploying the program and logging the program address in the terminal when you successfully deploy it. Next, in our root directory, we'll be creating a folder called images and adding our NFT images into this folder. Once we have dropped the NFT images like so, we will go back to our code in mint.ts and add the code to initialize the Bundler client. And if we open up this link in the SDK, we'll see the API that's running on our weave. Note that here, Note 2 provides completely free uploads up to 100 kilobytes, but if we have a lot of images, we can switch to Note 1, but it will cost us some gas fees. After we have included the Bundler SDK, we'll be uploading the folder to Bundler. 
the console log at the last line of the script here will show in the terminal what our ID is in the uploaded folder on Bundler. Next, let's create some metadata for the NFTs that we just dropped into the root directory of our project. So we'll be creating an array of NFTs with the metadata that will lazy mint and drop it into our code. And feel free to change up the metadata as you wish for your own project. And finally, we'll lazy mint the NFTs from the metadata that we just added by getting the program first, like so and then we'll mint the NFTs. And in our terminal, it will generate a signature for our transaction and we'll be able to see the signature by console logging it. At the end of the file, we also need to remember to call the mint function in order to run it. That's it. We are now finished with our script. And now we can finally run the script and test it in our terminal by typing in npx ts-node mint.ts. And once we have successfully run the script, we should be able to see the logs in our terminal, which includes the program address, the uploaded folder ID on Bundler, and the signature of the transaction on the Solana blockchain. If we go to the dashboard and type in our program address that we just deployed, we'll be able to see all of our NFTs and the associated metadata with them. And if we click on the images, we'll be able to see that they're now stored on our weave instead of IPFS as the data storage system. And that's it. In this video today, we learned how to use Bundler to store images for our Solana NFT drop. And if you have any questions about today's video, feel free to join our Discord server to speak directly with our team. And the link to join the Discord community is in the description down below. And last but not least, if you like today's content, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our third web channel. I'll see you in the next video.